Good morning. I am the Crazy Cricket, and I'm here to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. This morning I woke up and went to the Christmas tree, just as everyone does on Christmas morning, and naturally I assumed the largest gift was mine. And what did I find? A Markham LX7. Very popular item this season, brand new on the market. I bet everyone wished that they got one of these. And even though I know it wasn't actually for me, I decided to take it out for a little spin anyways. So I'm headed out in Santa's sleigh with all the other ice fishing gear that I hijacked this morning. And we're gonna go see if we can catch ourselves some Christmas fish. Switch on, choke. Let's see if we can get this started. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> That's gonna have to be good enough because I want to start fishing. Okay, so we're gonna get this party started now with this new toy of mine. Just drop it down there. You can see on the screen it tells you the depth. We're at 8.1 feet. There we go. Now I've worked with other flashers before and I'm no expert, but to me this looks like the Mac of flashers. Like it's got a nice big screen there. Might even be touch. No, it is not touch, but it still looks pretty sweet. So I'm gonna drop down a line here. This looks like a white tube jig. Went downstairs into my fishing reserves, AKA my brother's storage room. And I picked the one that I thought looked like it would be the best for today's escapades. One thing I've learned is that the transducer doesn't even need to be that far down. Mine's only a couple inches below the surface. That way you can just get it out of there quick if you do have a fish on the line and it's not in the way. If you picture kind of like a flashlight shining down at the ground, <laughs> I'm really good with my analogies. The beam, the higher it is, will show you more light on the ground. So it's kind of like that. The transducer is sending out signals to the ground and the higher up it is, the more radius you'll get at the bottom diameter I don't know I'm not a mathematician especially in shallow water like I'm fishing today I'm only in seven or eight feet so I want to get as much of the water column showing up on my screen as possible here so the higher my transducer is the more I will be getting a reading of that some people might put their transducer down a couple feet maybe even three feet and then they're just losing so much of their footprint or the diameter that shows up of the bottom of the lake there and this actually shows you exactly how much is showing up on the screen there so you know exactly what you're looking at. I've got a big red mark coming off the bottom there. He's right on me. Oh, he's right on my jig. Here we go, here we go. Just like that. It's as easy as that. He's there one second and you just wanna get this flasher out of the way there. Oh, that looks like a good one. It's my first fish of the ice fishing season. Oh, he is a feisty one. I don't know how much I've gained on him. He keeps going on little runs there. Okay, I haven't got a visual yet, but looks like I'm, oh, there he is. Oh, he's a nice one. Come on, buddy. Come on. I'm not terribly looking forward to sticking my hand in that hole, but if that's what needs to be done, that's the biggest fish in the pond right there, I'd say. Oh boy. Wow, that is huge. That is awesome. Check that out, that's the biggest char I've caught. I think that might be the biggest char in the pond right now. He's beautiful. I wouldn't say beautiful, but 
I'm sure other people would agree that this is a very nice fish. I'd say it's probably about a 30 incher, but uh, we should get him back in the water right away so that he has a chance for someone else to catch him. Okay, bye buddy. Yes! That was awesome! Best Christmas morning ever. And it was worth the slime, trust me. Let go. Let go, Lucky. I'll murder you. I'll murder you in your sleep.